more. And now I'm going to show you something I'm going to really enjoy doing because I'm going to do my favourite workshop procedure. All of my life I've really enjoyed playing in wood. But even more so now because I use these chaps. Now they may look really peculiar to you if you're not used to looking at Japanese tools. They're completely the opposite to everything we have. Let's just look at one in detail first. The, the wooden part looks very, very simple, but I can assure you it's very, very accurately made. It's called a die. The blade, as with all Japanese tools, is hollow ground and it's made from laminate, laminated steel. It fits in the die in these grooves. There is nothing to wedge it in. It fits perfectly in those grooves. So we adjust it very much as we do our own wooden planes until we're happy with it. And this part, which looked just like a wedge, it isn't. It's the back iron, believe it or not. And we adjust the back iron afterwards by putting it in there and advancing it to where we want it. Now, as with all simple things, it works absolutely perfectly. Let me show you a thing or two. Now this big chap would probably be akin to our jack plane, but the bottom isn't perfectly flat. It's been prepared with what we call a standing iron plane. And the plane has been scraped in this area and there and there. So the only part of the sole that touches the wood is here, here, here and here, again behind and there. And that reduces the friction. Something we've never thought about in this country. This is my polishing plane. This I am very, very honoured to have in actual fact because the iron is made by a top Japanese swordsmith a dis well, a descendant from the swordsmiths. When the Emperor of Japan had trouble with the samurai in about 1885, he banned the wearing of swords and the poor old swordsmiths were out of work overnight. And of course they turned to making woodworking tools. And the Saderhide family are very renowned. And this gentleman is in his late 80s that made this iron. He makes at least 19 irons to get one. He throws the 18 away. The Emperor of Japan was so impressed by this man that he gave him a special award, which is the Living Treasure of Japan. So I'm very honoured to have that, that plane. This is my roughing plane. So now let's just put them to use. Now you'll have to bear with me a bit because Quite frankly, I enjoy doing this so much that I tend to um, do my thing. Now look at this, it's, it's, it's pathetic, it's really rough, it's horrible, um, but just look, this is my roughing plane, notice it's a Japanese plane, I'm pulling it towards me, look at that, look at what's appearing. Well, having knocked the rough off, we can begin to see the beauty of the surface. Now, have you ever considered when you plane a bit of wood that that, there, is being revealed for the first time ever? You're the first person to ever see that piece of wood and to see its beauty. Now we're true in it. And we can begin to see the real beauty of that piece of walnut. And last, we come to the polishing plane. 
this is fantastic the die for this plane I've got to tell you the wood that made that was hung for 10 years in a charcoal kiln it's made by a special die maker who only makes dies for Chisoro Saddlehide look at that Well, there you are. Just look at that. Real beauty. Unfortunately, there's something I can't do on a video. You can't come and feel the surface of that piece of wood. But it's beautiful. Not only is it beautiful to look at, it's beautiful to touch. Now I asked you, can anything in life be better than that?